Hey, what's up guys? Today we want to go over the benefits of post-workout nutrition. All right, so I'm, when we're talking about the benefits of post-workout nutrition, um, we have a couple of bullet points here. Uh, reason why we want to have a good post-workout nutrition is one, to improve recovery. Uh, we also want to decrease muscle soreness. Um, we're looking to increase the ability to build muscle. Um, and also you're going to see improvements in not only immune function, but bone mass and also your ability to utilize your body fat. So immediately after our workouts, I like to recommend using a supplement rather than a meal uh, because it's going to be easier to, to digest and quicker to, uh, to digest. Uh, it's also going to be more cost efficient. So like a uh, supplement's usually going to cost less than say for example a steak or something like that. Um, and it's going to be a lot more convenient as far as uh, having that readily available to immediately uh, consume. Yeah, um, convenience is key. Um, we want to replenish like anything that we're losing immediately after our workouts. Um, and if we do have uh, a window to, to have a full meal one to two hours after your shake, okay, um, we're looking at that meal for, for men to normally have two palms of protein, so pretty much this part right here. We're looking at two fists of vegetables, okay, um, two cup handfuls of carbs, so think of like sweet potatoes, rice, um, and then two thumbs of fat. Okay, so uh, for women, just divide that by one, so we want to have one palm of protein, one fist of veggies, like one cup handful of carbs, and then one thumb of fats. So give you the, just giving you a general idea of how your plate should look like one to two hours after your shake. Yeah, so for our shake, we're looking to have protein and carbs, okay? So for our protein, like I said, we're looking for a fast digesting protein. Uh, whey's uh, gonna be a, a great option. I mean, like 90% of proteins are probably whey already. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if you want to go plant-based, that's also fine. Uh, what do you recommend for plant-based? Um, probably pea maybe? Yeah, or? there's pea, there's a ton of uh, stuff out there from almonds. Um, um, I even think there's a powder form of tofu out there. Yeah. Um, we do offer, you know, a scent is a, a product that we carry for whey. Um, but uh, there's a ton of stuff out there. Feel free to talk to a coach and we can recommend the, the best available supplement for you. Yeah. And then for that, we're looking to at least get 20 grams of protein. Uh, depending on your body size and mostly weight, right? Yeah, yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. Is, Do is men weight. take more than women? Uh, on average, I'm, I mean, there's a whole lot of variables that could play into it as far as even what your workouts are consist of. Okay, but generally, you want to go based off of weight and a general uh, practice is 20 grams. You want to see that in most of your proteins. Yeah, for sure. Uh, after that, too, we also want a carb. Okay, so the carbs is going to help, help replace that glycogen. Uh, in our muscles that we're using for, uh, in our workouts. Uh, that's gonna help with recovery in between workouts, um, energy, so if you ever feel like really bogged out after a workout, you're like just have no energy. If you replace that glycogen, it's gonna make you feel a lot better. Um, yeah, um, just kind of picking back off of Anthony, yeah. um, kind of science-y here. Uh, most of us don't really take, don't think about carbs post-workout, yeah. but- They're always like, thinking about the protein, right? They're yeah. always the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm, Carbs is just as important, especially with the workouts that we do here, um, in order to, to feel more, uh, uh, feel a lot better post workout to recover a lot better. Um, and some of those uh, examples of the carbs that we want to look at are. Yeah, so like uh, rice cakes, um, any kind of fruit. We want a high glycemic carb, so it's going to get uh, processed quickly and uh, replenish our mus muscles quicker or more quick, more fast. Yeah. Faster. Or, sorry. Faster. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly, there quickly. we go. Yeah. More quickly -er. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're looking for something like that. Also, that's gonna be the most probably convenient thing to have on you immediately after your workout. So I know it's gonna be a little bit harder, maybe have some sweet potato or something or rice. Yeah, or well, rice, that's, yeah. The sweet potato's gonna be lower by rice, so it might not be ideal after your workout, but. Uh, in in uh, yeah, comparison yeah. to ri white rice or something exactly, like that, yeah. or rice cake. It's just, a, or it's just not gonna be obviously the most convenient. Yeah. You know, you're a, you're gonna have an apple, uh, or it could, be, it could be a banana. Uh, those are the kind of things you want to look at as far as mixing up with your protein. Um, if you're going liquid form, like I'm a huge fan of coconut water, uh, you can do something like that mixed in with your protein. Actually, tastes yeah. pretty good. And then for that, ideally, you want two different kinds of uh, carbs, correct? Yeah. So you want to get like the fructose and also the glucose, uh, glucose right? Yeah. 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 So you want to have a fruit and uh, the rice cake, so like a banana, uh, a go-to for me is a rice and banana. Um, it's easy, it's quick, and it has both of those um, different kinds of sugars for you. And one of the reasons why is just 
transporting those nutrients as quickly as possible to exactly. the things that you depleted throughout the workout. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then after that, then you know, again, one to two hours afterwards, have that meal. Yep. Um, and just think about these portions right here. So if it's something you're not doing, guys, this is gonna greatly help your recovery. It's gonna make you feel you know, better after your workouts, uh, more energy, uh, you'll be able to work out harder and for longer, be able to come in more often. So if this is something you're skipping out on, definitely start implementing this into your diet and into your routine. Um, if you have any questions, you know, ask me, ask Jed, or ask any of our coaches here, we'll help you guys out. Um, if you're not sure what supplements to take or how much or when, um, yeah, just ask us and we'll let you know. All right, see you guys.